The so-called surveillance balloons from China reportedly had a world tour crossing over 40 countries across five continents. We clearly know the list includes the U.S. Then, how much of a threat are these kinds of surveillance objects? For more, we're joined by Mr. Bruce Klinger. He's a senior research fellow at the Heritage Foundation. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Good morning. No suspected surveillance balloon has been spotted here in South Korea yet, but there is speculation that the so-called Chinese spy balloons could have crossed into South Korean airspace. How likely is that scenario? I, I think it's very likely. We're, we're really just discovering this phenomenon uh, after the, the balloon was discovered flying over the entirety of, of the United States. Uh, when the military went back, they discovered a lot of uh, Chinese balloons had flown over parts of the U.S. before, uh, as well as, I'm sure, many other nations. Now, they're also discovering that there are many other private balloons, weather balloons, et cetera, mm -hmm. uh, that they would have to distinguish these, sat these spy satellites or spy balloons from. Right. Then the question is, how can we distinguish flying objects for commercial purposes from those actually used for surveillance purposes? How can we know the difference? Well, I, I think it's going to be difficult, just mm -hmm. as South Korea has found uh, identifying and distinguishing drones very difficult. Right. So uh, it, it's seemingly a new threat, although really quite historical. The mm -hmm. People have been using balloons for uh, reconnaissance for quite some time. So, uh, But it is something we're going to have to not only identify, but also take measures against, but then also have to weigh the, the costs of doing so. The, when the U.S. shot down a balloon, it was using a, a million dollars or so, or hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, missile for what could have been a, a very cheap balloon. So uh, it, it's, a, in a way, a new threat for the military that they have to assess and then rank against all the other uh, really more serious threats. Right. And it's even more challenging when they're really far away because they, they really look like commercial balloons from, from far away. Right. Well, and certainly China has uh, reconnaissance satellites, so they would be using that to monitor South Korea. Uh, North Korea not, not having that same capability. Mm -hmm. So one might think that North Korea might be more likely to use balloons to try to gain reconnaissance over South Korea. Right. And when suspected flying surveillance objects are detected in South Korean airspace, for instance, and what measures are taken or should be taken? I mean, I mean, should they be shut down immediately, just like the U.S. did? Well, in the United States, we'd have to have the military coordinating with the, the Federal Aviation Administration, mm -hmm. uh, determining what uh, the civilian authorities knew about what what balloons are there, but you know, balloons can just go up by private organizations, hobby groups, et cetera. So uh, it, it's something that the South Korean government will have to coordinate not only between the military, but also civilian authorities to try to identify uh, what is flying over South Korea and then whether it can be reached by uh, missiles on airplanes. Uh, you know, airplanes can only operate at a certain altitude uh, and then also, you have to think in terms of shooting it down, what would be the, the impact on the ground, perhaps threatening civilians when the, the target lands, perhaps on a populated area. Right. Now, before we let you go, Mr. Klinger, do you think South Korea should be concerned of those spy balloons? Well, I, I think they have to be concerned, but also knowing that, that China is already surveilling uh, South Korea with spy satellites. Mm -hmm. um, so this is would if it's happening, we'd just be adding another layer of, of surveillance. Right, right, right. Balloons emerging as uh, new challenges and also a threat. We have to keep a close eye on that. Right. And, right. and it's something that the military has to weigh against the, the North Korean threat, where obviously that's a much more ex existential threat. Exactly. Coming in drones now, that's, that's also the latest. Right. All right. Thank you so much for your insight today. Come somebody down. <laughs>